Yuno is one of the main characters in Black Clover and Asta's closest rival and friend. He's a calm, collected, and highly talented mage who grew up alongside Asta in the Hague Village Orphanage. From a young age, Yuno was recognized for his exceptional magical talent, receiving a four-leaf clover grimoire and later gaining the legendary wind spirit, Sylph. Throughout the series, Yuno has shown incredible growth and determination, striving to become the Wizard King. His journey has been marked by numerous battles and power-ups, including his mastery of wind magic and the awakening of his star magic, which gives him an array of powerful abilities. As of Chapter 371, Yuno has faced some of the strongest foes in the series, proving time and time again that he's a force to be reckoned with. But how strong is he really? Yo, what's up guys? You may have seen my video titled, How Strong is the Current Asta, so I thought it would only make sense to do the same for his duo, Yuno. In this video, I'll be explaining how strong Yuno is up to chapter 371 in the manga. Like the Asta video, this one will be split into three parts, speed scaling, attack potency, and the various hacks and abilities he has. Let's get started. As we know, Black Clover characters have been dodging light speed attacks since around Chapter 40. Even before that, Asta dodged one of Gosha's reflect rays in his sleep. Yes, his reflect rays are light since they have all the properties and act like light. We can agree that Asta and Yuno were equal at that point in the story. If they weren't, then Yuno would be stronger. Now that we know characters are bare minimum light speed, and instead of me showing all the different FTL plus speed calcs, I'll just use the actual feats from the manga. For instance, in Magna's Soul Chain Deathmatch against Dante in the Spade Saga, he was able to bring Dante's power from 100% down to 50%. If you don't know what Soul Chain Deathmatch is, I'll explain. It redistributes the magic power between the two people, causing all their stats and magic power to equalize. From this, we can conclude that from 0% to 100%, Dante would have to be four times faster and stronger than Magna, making top tiers in the Spade Saga at least mid to high FTL+. From there, we can scale them even higher using Zora's feet against Lucifero. With Zora's trap magic, he can double the power and speed of any attack. During the fight against Lucifero, he planted a trap on his body and tanked an attack meant for Asta. Lucifero didn't hold back since Asta was the main threat after he had already defeated most of the captains. Zora redirected the attack from Lucifero, making it twice as strong, yet Lucifero effortlessly reacted and countered it. This would put anyone faster than Lucifero into the massively faster than light to massively faster than light plus ranges. And yes, the current Yuno is stronger than Lucifero. We see him going up against multiple clones of Lucius, who absorbed all of Lucifero's power as well as the entire underworld and Julius. This easily puts Yuno into those MFTL plus ranges. Next is his attack potency. We can scale him next to Asta since they're pretty equal throughout the story, or we can use his feats. You can highball the shit out of him using Dorothy's glamour world scaling or the twin devils interacting and destroying invisible concepts, or lowball him to country through continental since his mana zone covers an entire country, or the salamander vaporizing an entire ocean pre-time skip. Realistically though, I would put him in those planetary to dwarf star ranges. It's pretty simple, really. We all know Conrad was going to drop a giant-ass meteor, some say it's moon size, but it doesn't matter, that was going to destroy the entire continent. Asta beat the brakes off Conrad and stopped him. Then a time skip happened where everyone got stronger. But Asta got the shit beat out of him by the Dark Triad later on, which would also put them in those multi-continental to moon-level ranges. Lucifero was massively stronger than them, and he also has three different planetary statements. And after Lucifero was defeated, he got his heart ate out by Lucius, which would give him all of Lucifero power. And we all know the rest from there. Now, it's time for his hacks. So Yuno has like a million different ways to break down his opponent. 
So here are just some of his main hacks and abilities. With both his star magic and wind magic, Yuno has teleportation, time manipulation, also a resistance to time manipulation, power absorption, spatial manipulation, power nullification, passive deconstruction, the magic emanating from his body caused the matter in his surroundings to disintegrate. Corrosion Inducement He's resistance to power nullification and possession, and some other important stuff that I'm most likely without a doubt forgetting. Anyways, that's all I wanted to yap about. Next, I may do the same with Noel, but in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and comment what you think I'm forgetting since I most likely am. Anyways, see you guys later.